Hey guys, Retro Extreme 79 back with my newest pickup video. As you can tell, I'm doing this from a closer point of view rather than me be on camera. I think I'm going to switch it up. Sometimes I'll be on camera when the wife records me, and sometimes I'll do it like this. I like to keep things just kind of different. So I want to show you my pickups. As you can see, the Best Buy bag right there. I'm going to show you the non-gaming items first, and then we'll get to the gaming stuff later, okay? But, um... Yeah, let's get into it. First thing I picked up was American Reunion. Uh, the Blu-ray DVD digital copy, as you could see, for 20 bucks. I haven't seen it yet. When it was in theaters, I really wanted to see it, guys. But, uh, you know, my son being little and all, so he probably would have cried and screamed in the movie theater. And I didn't want to give people there, um, I didn't want them to experience that. Because, you know, when you go to the theater, obviously you want total silence. But let's watch the movie. So... We couldn't see it, so I'm glad I have it now in my collection. I saw part one, part two, and then the American Wedding. I don't really like the American Pie Presents, like, um, you know, it was like a spinoff of the American Pie movies that they present beta something or American Pie Presents this or that. I don't like that garbage. I never even bother watching them, you know, because it's not the original cast. They're just trying to make money off the original American Pie name. But anyway, so I'm rambling. The best American Pie movie between one, two, and American Wedding was part two. Second favorite was part one, and my third favorite was part uh, was the American Wedding. Let's see how this one ranks up once I'm done watching it. Next up, I picked up WWE DVDs, which is they came in a two pack. See, so basically you're getting like this one is the Rise and Fall of WCW, and it's 9.99, right? But it's bundled with another DVD. The Life Story of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat was an awesome wrestler. He wrestled at um, WrestleMania 25 a couple of years ago when he teamed up with Roddy Piper and Superfly Jimmy Snuka against Chris Jericho. I mean, this, this guy's one of the more underrated performers, but a great performer. Anyways, um, normally these two separate legal for 20 bucks each. So um, you're basically getting two DVDs here for the price of not even one. So uh, I picked up one of those. And then I picked up another bundle for $10. The WWE Hell in the Cell 3 disc set. And then behind that one is the, uh, the Twisted and Disturbed Life of Cain. And the last one I picked up uh, was same price, $9.99. The best of Raw, the 15th year anniversary. You see some of the greats there. Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, Stone Cold Steve Austin, John Cena, Triple H. Rock and Undertaker, so this is a three DVD set, and then behind that is the uh, the Best of Raw 2010. So uh, yeah, like I said, both these go for about 20 bucks each. So let's see, I got uh, I paid 10, 20, 30 dollars, and these uh, I paid 30 dollars, 30 dollars, and um, one, two, three, four, 30 dollars for 120 bucks worth of DVDs for the wrestling ones. That was pretty cool, guys. Next up, I picked up a few things from the Goodwill. I picked up for a buck ninety-nine the Chicago Bulls Greatest Hits. The Stampede continues. Uh, like a bunch of you know radio calls. It's got uh, that song uh, by the Blues Brothers, "Sweet Home Chicago." Um, this was back you know when um, the Bulls were just whooping everybody's ass. You know they had uh, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, Tony Kukoc, B.J. Armstrong, John Paxson, Steve Kerr. Ron Harper, Bill Cartwright, I mean, uh, I can go on and on, but this is um, part of that uh, 90s dynasty team that won six NBA titles, so that was pretty cool to get that. I picked up Married with Children, the uh, the second season right here, and that was four ninety nine. Five bucks for a DVD set of one of my favorite uh, sitcoms of all time. It's a pretty good deal any day of the week. Very cool. And lastly, I picked up another DVD set. For six ninety nine, another wrestling one, The Undertaker, The Undertaker's Deadliest Matches, and um, it's got some pretty interesting matches against The Warrior, The Ultimate Warrior, The Body Bag Match, The Buried Alive Match with Stone Cold Steve Austin, an Inferno Match with Kane, a Hell in a Cell with Randy Orton, a Last Man Standing Match with Batista. Um, on the WWE website, this DVD costs about twenty dollars, so to, to find it for six ninety nine is a pretty good deal. Okay, so that is all of the uh, non-gaming stuff. Let's get into the gaming stuff, guys. Now, I picked up this game at the 
Thrift Store Village Discount Outlet. It is for the 64. It is Battle Tank. What does that say? 3DO. Did 3DO make this game? Hmm, interesting. Anyhow, guys, um, it was that price. Pink was one of the colors that I so I paid a buck forty-five for it. It's in pretty good shape. Never played it, and it's great to add to the collection. Okay. So um, they made a new play and trade store by my house, about a mile away. So I I picked up a few games. Um, they got buy two get one free right now because of the store opening up. So that's the promotion. So I picked up I picked up the Legend of Cage. Pretty cool game. It is a fight school, as you can see. So I am a member of, of the play and trade, so um, it's kind of fuzzy. So it says two ninety nine, but I paid two sixty nine for it. So the next two games you're gonna see, I also paid two sixty nine for it. However, um, one was free, so um, I essentially paid what about maybe seven bucks total with tax for three games, which is pretty awesome, guys. And this game is pretty fun. It's got a little label wear there, as you can see, but I don't have it. And it's just great to add to my collection. And then it's a fight school game. So there we go with that one. We have Fabio, Wizards and Warriors 2 Iron Sword. This game is pretty fun. I used to have this game as a kid, and I played it a lot more than I thought I would play it. I never beat it, but I got pretty far, so I'm looking forward to jumping back into action in this game. can't believe it's Fabio. I can't believe it's not Butter. Same price, two sixty nine, because I'm a member, and um, yeah, the card's in pretty nice shape. No label damage, no marker on it, so yeah, that was pretty cool. And then, so I, the, the third game that I bought, I actually have a double of it. At the time, I did not know that it was a double. I thought I didn't have it, so this game will be up for trade if anybody needs it for their collection that doesn't have it. It's uh, Sesame Street, Big Bird, Hide and Speak. This one's got a little bit of marker dam mark marker damage, a little bit of marker writing. So, Mr. Andrew Webb, I do have your game. I'm sorry. This one was probably the free one. Well, one of those games right there were the free one because I only paid for two of them. But this guy wrote his name all over the fucking cartridge. My God. I mean, it could easily come up with the magic eraser or some kind of alcohol solution. But, uh, yeah, this is probably one of the more... Um, it's not rare. It's a little more uncommon. I mean, I normally see Sesame Street, ABC, or 1, 2, 3 in the wild. This is the one that's a little bit more harder to um, find, I've seen. But um, it is a double, and if anybody is interested, let me know. It's up for trade. So, okay, I got a bunch of things I'm going to show you next, guys. And um, you're not going to believe what I pay for these things. So let's start off with... I went to my, one of my stores here in Chicago called Reckless Records, and they sometimes have some pretty good deals. And this is probably my finds. I said finds with the S of the week. So I picked up um, some a, lot, a bunch of DS games. This one right here is Imagine Fashion Designer. I know it's probably a girl's game, guys, but look at this price: two ninety nine. Two ninety nine for this game. Check that out. Unbelievable, guys. And it is complete. So, um, three bucks for a DS game. Who wouldn't buy it, you know? Next up, Imagine Animal Doctor. For the same price, $2.99. Um, so, yeah. Three bucks each. Like I said, again, anybody will probably pick it up for that price. And it is complete. I have a bunch of DS games now. And it's just getting started, guys. Next up, Paws and Claws Pet Vet. Two ninety nine. Yeah, you know when I went there, guys, I um, asked them to hold uh, a couple games I saw online, and this is also complete, guys. So I asked them to hold a couple games I saw online, right? So when I came out of work to pick them up the next day, I saw these games. I just grabbed them all. On top of the ones that they held for me. Next up, High School Musical three for two ninety nine. I don't really give a shit about High School Musical, but it's, it'll be a nice addition to the collection. And um, all these games that I got, you know, of course they're steel. Games cost them for a lot more. So here's another one: The Sims 2 Apartment Pets, two ninety nine. Um, I played The Sims games. Some of them are pretty interesting. They're kind of fun. Um, if you can make them fun. 
This one does... Okay, it's complete, I think. It's not the game. I don't think this is the manga. I think it's some other bullshit. That's cool, whatever. Okay. Next up, Paws and Claws, Best Friends, Dogs and Cats, two ninety nine. All right, there we go. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Uh, you know, right now uh, I have two dogs. I got a pug, a French bulldog, and I got a Siamese cat, and they actually they get along pretty well. So this is um, this title kind of holds true. Okay, guys. Two ninety nine for that. This one I paid a little more for. This is the one of the games that had them hold for me. Mario Kart DS. Only seven ninety nine, guys. Seven ninety nine. At GameStop, they're charging twenty four ninety nine for this game. So of course, when I saw it, I called them, asked them to hold it for me. They know me there already, so they held it for me. So that's pretty cool. It's Mario Kart. Come on. <laughs> it's, there it is, and that doesn't have the manual. Got, all, got everything. Got a bunch of shit. Do this in one hand, guys. So, $7.99. Dream Day Wedding Destinations, $2.99. By THQ. Uh, this game is about 13 bucks on GameStop.com. It is complete. Got a couple of more here, guys. Nintendogs. This one is the uh, Labrador Retriever version for two ninety nine. I think this one is like fifteen on GameStop.com. Okay. <sighs> Complete. And I got a game I had before, Brain H two, and it was four ninety nine. Brain H two. And um, I played this before. It's actually pretty interesting. Um, I wouldn't say you have to be a genius, but it does test your ability, and, uh, if you keep failing a certain test, if you keep taking them over and over again, you'll eventually get them. <laughs> so that's pretty cool, five bucks, that's what GameStop sells it for. Last one, another, um, DS game, Nintendogs, the, uh, Dalmatians version. So, yeah, that's complete as well, guys. Look at, Jesus Christ. Okay, so there it is. So yeah, these are all my pickups for the week. My stack of DS games. My three NES games, my 64 game, and the movies there, guys. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to my video. Like the video, please. Leave your comments below and subscribe if you haven't done so. I uh, will hit you up with my next video whenever I get a chance or whenever I go out again. Unless I do some kind of other video. But until next time, this is Retro Extreme 79. Keep it retro and take care, guys.